<laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. I removed the the thing so he could do the totem and then I trapped him back in. Oh, that's so fucking funny. Chill. <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh, this is that giant fucking map. This sucks dick. Alright. Up. Oh, that's fine. So, you'll notice I'm maintaining that carefree attitude, my friends. But. I'm not just gonna roll over and die. I know this map seemingly better than the survivors. I know that if I don't sh if I don't sh if I don't three gen these people, it is friggin' ogre, man. And like, oh, that's an ogre with like a capital G unit, my friends. Would you like to try and dead hard, David? You cannot. Oh, Devin, that window, she is blocked. Ooh, we'll go the long way, as I fear there is someone on pallet side. Moving on from me not playing like a jackass, and by jackass I mean dumbass. I'm not going to let these people just bully me. I know that they're a coordinated group. I know that they brought a decent amount of stuff and things. So I'm largely unsympathetic towards any behavior that comes thereafter. Matches have been super duper sweaty. So what I'm mumbling about is the Meg that I saw earlier. I don't find her, so let's just talk over the mumbling, because it's not important. I feel like so, somewhat forced their hand here. that clip at the beginning is from a different match where people gave up, and I just think funny stuff happens when people give up. So I thought I'd show that with you, share that with you. And then on this match, you can see my dungeon has a beautiful halo of generators around it. Moreover... This is the biggest map in the game, and I refuse to go down without a fight. I need my three jennies. And with Pop Goes the Weasel and the dungeon right here, I'm feeling pretty confident because the pressure is r r r real. I, like, definitely need to kick this. <laughs> I want to point out first and foremost, Clown's not my favorite killer. I don't really have a favorite killer right now because of how freaking sweaty these matches have been. You know what my favorite killer is? Whichever killer lets me bring the most here. OP add-ons at the time. But, whatever. That's that's what we bring upon ourselves, trying to climb into red ranks. We're all just going to be a bunch of shit healing tryhards. Sound good? Sounds good. Alright, motherfuckers. Just never assume the, the killer is blind. Assume they saw your hand. Assume they saw your floppy dongles. And fucking dipset. Fucking di especially. Oh my god, that was nearly. If you perfect. know from first hand. I got bamboozled, motherfucker. That. Your killer has exhaustion and sloppy booster. Don't chase that shit. Alright. Okay. Oh, that person's still on there. That was a failed skill check of some kind. So we'll say. Most people played poorly. That guy there. Actually, oh, he, shit. he made the right call. He, he mind game the mind game. Can't be, can't hate. Oops. But all right, so you got one juke in you, two jukes in you. Chuck another one at you. You got two strike bar. 
got D strike off face? I don't I don't think you do. Uh, I say I don't think she does, but then I totally I slug her and just too. assume she has D strike. <laughs> Keep an eye on your dumbass. Another thing I will say is when I'm missing a bunch of swings in quick succession, it's like half me just trying to be quick and half me trying to give you a fucking chance. I'm testing my reflexes and I'm testing your reflexes. Lord knows I could measure my swings a little bit more and not miss as much. But when it comes to a situation like that where I'm basically going to down someone off hook, I'm going to try and give you a chance. Sometimes. Some fucking people are dickheads, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a dickhead. Get your dumb ass. The chances you get are based on the chances you give people, okay? So I'll take this moment to say I avoid base camping pretty much at all costs. The person on the hook is hating their life and they find it boring, and I'm hating my life because I find it boring. I would much rather just go try and find another pile of meat and bones to throw on that good old meat hook. But that does not mean that I am above area camping. Area camping can work out incredibly well. And boy, how do you, would you look at that? It worked incredibly well. Pudding. Pudding. I can't have you running like that. Can't have anybody tapping. Ooh, did you insta heal while you were gone, or is it somebody else? <laughs> Inside the beholder. <laughs> Would everybody like a sloppy? I feel like everybody would like a sloppy. I feel like she may have had the sense to not go down here, but... It's worth it, in my opinion. Because that guy's got d -str <laughs> Well, I think it's pretty obviously two different mags at this point. But I was too busy cutting people in half to notice. And now, I really need to tell you people, you can't underestimate a hindered exhaustion clown who is trying to avoid a D-strike that probably didn't exist, considering I think these people are survival friends. And from how she wanted me to chase, I don't think. Unless they're super smart and wanted me to pick him up, but... They made the wrong play, letting me reload and stand real, real close. It was not the pizza. Just like this person trying to heal with an earshot of me was also not the pizza. That's just... What? Oi. Oi. She got what she wanted. She sure did. She, she got her chase. And she was able to save that other guy, so... Was it worth it? No. She made a really shitty play. Just like the rest of the game. Just shitty play right, after then. shitty play. <laughs> Fucking pathetic. So this dude right here over altruisms himself so hard. At this point, I haven't seen a whole hell of a lot of borrowed time. So I'm not afraid of that. The only thing I'm afraid of is D-Strike. Because I don't have any obsession perks. So one of these people has to have D-Strike. <laughs> the, the obsession pretty much guaranteed has D-Strike. It's been less than well, a minute. I'm pretty sure that other person had Unbreakable, but... Whatever. And the reason I think that person had Unbreakable is they had the one that lets you crawl faster and it turns into like struggle. Fucking anyway. No too. Clown matches are rarely that forgiving. 
this person here really, really needed to give this situation more time to mellow out and figure itself out. The person with D-Strike probably could have gotten pretty far away in the minute just crawling. And getting that person up, pretty much the only play that you can make at that point. The person that's on the hook is is dead as you are jumping down those stairs that are full of gas. Just like I understand the situation's dire, but the by not letting the D striker crawl, they they really really scuff themselves. Because potentially there's two D strikers. I'm not going to risk either of them and they gave me exactly what I wanted. Which was someone to chase to avoid D strike. And they gave it to me every time I wanted it. It was so beautiful. I don't know where the hatch is. Map is huge. So this match prompted someone to basically laugh at me for being a rank 5 camper. To which I replied, I don't think you understand how fucking huge this map is or how choice my generator placements were. He said, good luck camping at this rank. And I said, good luck not knowing the map or the generator placements at this rank. L-O-L. Those people should not be playing with that person. That person gets an unsportsmanlike for bringing unqualified players. So, as you may or may not have saw, I made absolutely the 100% correct choicest of choices playing around D-Strike because every single one of them had D-Strike. These people... None of them get to talk shit. And the fact that one of them tried to is the fucking... Oh, man. You make yourself into a joke. Don't send hate mail. Just don't. Just swallow your tongue and send something constructive or fuck off. It's You're a joke. It's hilarious. I, I ruined you.